Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are looking at a Dana 80 differential that was out of an F350 dually. But the situation was that went to change the oil and differential was full of metal filings. As you can see, spider gears are all broken up. So what we're going to do now is take apart the clutch pack and see what kind of damage is done. I matched marked it. You can see the teeth are all chipped up inside there. It's not looking good. So the first thing we got to do is remove the bolts from the top of the carrier. Using an impact gun, going to bust them free, pull the bolts out. Pretty simple task. Don't worry, it's not under pressure, it's not going to pop up and get you in the head. Now we're going to lift it off. And you can see right there, it is not looking good. Things are looking pretty bad. Just for reference, I'm going to peel it off disc by disc so you guys can see exactly what's going on. That was supposed to be a clutch pad. There is no friction left on that at all. The clutch is completely disintegrated. Those discs are in bad shape along with everything else in the differential. It is not looking good at all, my friends. This is going to be one expensive fix. Got a little bit of chunk of metal in there as well. Look at those spider gears. Oh my. Look at that carnage. Somebody must have been doing some serious burnouts pulling a 50,000 pound trailer to do this kind of damage. Pull the spider gears out. Let's look at the clutch pack on the other side. Got some butterfingers going on there. Trying to get that out. Uh oh. Pay close orientation to how this beveled washer comes out. You're going to see it in the next little bit here. I'm just pulling everything out. Now, once again, I'm going to flip through it all so you guys can see just exactly what kind of damage was going on here. This is what happens. I don't think there was any limited slip anymore. I think it was on the verge of completely disintegrating. Now remember, that washer has got a slight bevel to it. Make sure you remember the way it went because that's important when you put it back together. This is the new clutch kit spider gears that we got. came as a kit. Now the clutch packs that I got came zip tied in the orientation that they're supposed to go back together. So that part makes it simple. If you could build Lego, you could put this back together. So if you suck that Lego, I probably wouldn't advise you doing this job because you're probably going to put it together all wrong. Man. That's how the friction clutch plate is supposed to look. Not the way that they came out. Something seriously wrong going on there. This is going to make a world of difference to the person driving it. Honestly, you don't have to do it the way I did. You can just put it all together and put it in as one unit. I did it piece by piece to show people because people like to see what's going on. So I'm hoping that kind of helped you out. I'm just kind of turning around right now trying to get all the gears aligned so that it drops into place. Put the spider gears back in. The kit comes with all new pieces. This differential is going to be like brand new once it's all done.
There we go. We're just going to put the top back on. Use some blue Loctite on the bolts. Bolts are all down, as you can see right there. Man, look at those spider gears. All nice, brand new. And then the last thing you got to do is put it back in the differential. Refill it full of oil. And you're done. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you for watching.